Hey, what is up guys, Dude Tech here. Welcome back with a brand new video. In this video, I have another cool tweaks for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy today's video. With that being said, let's get started. All right, guys, so let's uh, talking about the flexed here. So when you download the tweak, it will be bring nice and beautiful fade to your notification. So let me just go right now before I explain more of the things about the tweak here. So if you go to your notification center, as you guys can see, most the notification that you have right now in your device, it comes with a fade on it, which is going to be give your notification center a beautiful looking. Also, if you are right now in your lock screen, look how that beautiful one is going to be came into your lock screen with that fade is going to be start from the top all the way down to the bottom. So it's going to be beautiful looking once you receive your notification with that kind of fade on it okay so go we go going back to the settings here and then the as i told you guys when you download the tweak you need to enable the button here and then the other thing which is going to be so you can customize the fade that you want once you receive your notification from there and that's all deflux it mini hood so when you download the tweak the first thing that you need to do to enable the button here and it's going to be providing you with the three options so you can set your volume hood on the small icon just like so you guys can see that how beautiful is it and it's tiny hood here on the screen and then you can set that on the default or the normal size of the hood or you even you can make it bigger so you choose the option you choose the uh the action that you want to set it on your hood and it's going to be work right away on your phone just like so mini hood if you want to play with your widget just like what i do right now here so you need to download the the widget function x so when you download the tweak, it will be providing you with a lot of settings. One of these settings here, so you can flat, just like the way I do. So you can enable the button here, the flat widgets and notifications, and you can enable that. The other stuff that is going to be, that tweak is going to be provide you with, which is going to be, you can hide the widget icon, you can hide the widget titles, and then the other stuff, you can hide it. Here, you can hide the widget toggle, which is, uh, if you have some toggles on a widget and you want to hide those so you can just enable the buttons here other stuff and they they already explain about most of the stuff here so you can go through those details here and then you can hide uh, whatever the stuff that you want to hide it from your widget and then after that when you just complete from everything you need to just make sure to respring your device and then this, your device will be take that effect widget function x Okay, so how about if you set your name on your lock screen just like so and then you can set the YouTube, any kind of picture that you have on your lock screen just like so. Do you guys see how is that beautiful? Okay, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can set that in a second. But basically what I want from you guys, if you guys want to do that, you need to just focus on what I'm doing and then... Tell me guys in the comment section what do you think about this lock screen if, if you want to set it just like so. If you want to hide everything on the top here, all what you need to do, and I already explained about the top tap status bar, when you download the tweak, simply just tap on it, it will be disappeared from your screen. So if you want to download everything just like the way that I, what I do, I'm going to be showing you guys how I set everything using the tweak called Fuji. All right, so in order to do that, first of all, you need to download the lock HTML4 and then you need to enable the tweak. And then also you need to hide most of the stuff from your lock screen. If you want to do that, then you need to go to hide lock screen elements. Simply just stop here. As you guys can see, hide the lock task, hide most of the thing that you have on your lock screen. If you want to make sure what you need to hide, then just pause the video and then you can do step by step what I do. And then the other thing that you need to do, which is going to be you need and you're looking to download a theme called Fuji. And I'm going to be leave the link for you guys in the description. So once you download the both and I'm talking here about the lock HTML4 and Fuji. So when you download Fuji and you complete from everything, you need to go to the select widget here. And as you guys can see, you will be find Fuji right there. 
So what you need to do right now, just tap on the the one that you pick or the one that you download, which is Fuji here. I'm going to be simply just tap on it. It will be providing you with some tools here. What you need to do, you can set your name the way I do, just like so. And then you need to bring the URL of your picture or any kind of picture that you want to set on your Luxa Queen. Simply just copy that URL and then just paste it here. Simple as that. Once you're done, you need to just hit save and go back. So it's going to be it looks like this. And as I told you guys, if you want to hide more of the things on the top here, simply just tap on it. Oops. So simply just tap on it just like so. And this is what we call tap tap status bar. It will be everything will be disappeared and it's going to be smooth and clear just like so. Other thing I just want to show you guys. The other thing that you you can to add that because once you download Fuji, there is another thing that you can you can edit on your Luxa Queen, which is Fuji clock. So if you tap here and then you want to keep that clock on your Luxa Queen, so simply just save, hit save, go back. So if you want to bring Fuji clock and in the day and time here, it looks like this. But for me, I don't like it that much. That's why I just keep my logo, my the, uh, the phone name or my channel name on my Luxa Queen. And that's it. Because it's for me, for my opinion, it's more clear and I like it that way. There you go. Fuji. The next week that I have for you guys in today's video, which is going to be the no red bar. So as you guys can see here, it comes under the URI here. And then what is that tweak is going to be do? It's simple tweak is going to be move the red status bar when you record any kind of audio using your smartphone. So so sometimes when you record a video, it's not a video, it's an audio. So when you record an audio, uh, that is a red bar comes on your status bar. So basically, when you download that tweak, it will be move and that red bar will be disappeared from your Luxa screen or from your home screen. So when you download the tweak has nothing to configure, it will be work right away on your iDevice no red bar i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you like the video please just like always give it a big thumbs up subscribe for my channel for more videos i see you guys in next video this is do tech thanks for watching